The Mothers and Daughters Together We Can project was designed for mothers and daughters at Kimberly Park Elementary School. It was the vision that mothers and daughters would have an opportunity to build relationships and in building those relationships several things needed to take place. It was thought of what would be some activities that could happen to actually build and nurture the relationship between a mother and daughter which is very special. So it was the vision of the Maya Angelou Institute to create a project that would allow these mothers and daughters to come together. And it was a three-pronged approach to looking at how these mothers and daughters could come together. One, creating a community garden where the mothers and daughters could actually work together, uh, grow plants, grow, grow vegetables that could actually be used for the mother and daughters, and then also used for the community. A second, piece to the project would be a fitness piece. Um, obesity is uh, very critical in families and what would be some of the ways to help mitigate that particular issue. And so one way was to help families understand about the five food groups and we could control a couple of them by helping the mothers and daughters plant in the uh, garden and then actually eat some of the healthy food. And then the third part of the program included the fitness piece. So we had uh, someone that would actually work with the girls, do the exercise piece, and that seems to be uh, very beneficial. I am Amber Baker and I'm the principal of Kimberly Park Elementary School and I was a part of the program from the inception. Uh, working with Dr. Winston, we talked about what were some of the ramifications from our daughters and mothers who had maybe uh, been estranged because of incarceration or abuse or just simply absent because of their inability to care for their daughters. We also talked about just the overall health care of African American women in general. So originally we talked about this project because I wanted to do a community garden because within a one mile radius of this school there is no place that our families can get fresh fruits and vegetables. So from those conversations she came up with the project and we thought about it in terms of a three pronged process. And so as I think about it now into its completion of the second year, we've seen many new relationships formed with our mothers um, and extended family. Um, on the days that the mothers couldn't be here, grandmothers came and aunts came and they understood the importance of being able to bond with their daughters or their nieces or their granddaughters. So I think the biggest part of this was just an opportunity for two generations of women to come together and to do what we often do within the African American community and that is to exchange our culture using the oil process. Good afternoon, my name is James Braswell. I'm the physical coordinator for Edwin Selma State University. And my role in the program was to go out and come up with a fitness program for the mother and daughters to get together on certain days of the week, to get out and work with the cardiovascular endurance, work on a relationship, because sometimes when you're out and you're training, you have a great conversation and to build uh, muscle endurance. So that was my primary task that I had for this uh, program. Some of the things we did for cardio was walking, a little bit of running every now and then when they could afford to. And then we did, uh, for the body we broke it down, we did upper bodies and lower body. Some of the upper body things we do, we try to do push-ups, uh, jumping jacks for big muscle development, and then we specialize in the hips and buttocks and thighs. And of course, we always hit the abs every day to try to lose some. The main focus here was to get the mother and daughter together, away from home, away from school work, as they walk, talk about their days, talk about you know, maybe what you want to be, what you want to grow up to be, or what is your aspiration. 
And also we wanted to try to control obesity in the young black males, females, excuse me, and also in the mothers. So that was my primary thrust behind the whole program. I think we accomplished a lot of things. I wish we had a little bit more time to work with them, but I hopefully I got across to them that it is important that you maintain your own personal physical health. And I gave them some things that they can work on away from at home, uh, at school, and things they can do for the rest of their life. So congratulations ladies, great working with you. And if you need anything, you know how to contact me, just hit me up and have a beautiful day. I do the gardening component and um, I love it. Uh, I've had an opportunity to work with mothers and daughters and I've had an opportunity to work with other people from the neighborhood who participated in our gardening after the school year was over. We basically, we started, it was an in-ground project. Uh, I like in-ground because it makes you work more. So we had to dig um, the North Carolina Extension, dug the garden up for us. They gave us some tools, some supplies, seeds, uh, and some plants. And um, so we actually went from from nothing to a harvest in late June, July, and into August. Uh, I had an opportunity to be out in the garden with the girls several times. They asked questions. They learned about uh, what is the first thing you do. You test your soil. You prepare your soil. Uh, there's a whole process of how deep you dig to put your to put your plants in. You put fertilizer in. You put plant food in. So we, we did all that. We did all the steps of gardening. Uh, the interesting part about the mothers and daughters working in the garden, we had some mothers watched, watched on the side and encouraged their children. Uh, other mothers and, and even some of our elder uh, 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 family relations who were with their daughters, um, they were in there working as hard too. Uh, digging out weeds, helping to plant, Always, of course, having a little something to say to the young people, which is it's nice because, but it, it, it gardening brings you together. Gardening has uh, many benefits, and um, uh, not only were they able to do some gardening together, um, they just, you know, then they have time to just kind of sit and relax. And, well, being in the garden is a very relaxing thing, let me put it like that. It's more like a spiritual experience. This is a fantastic project. Yeah, I would miss doing this project um, because when you start a project like this, it's, it's always good to continue it. I hope we get a chance to do this again. Um, had all good moments with this. I think the, the one of the best parts was the last thing that we planted is some collards and some cabbage uh, because it's the fall, the fall, uh, fall crop, and we got it in late. But when we worked. The, the, the soil that we worked in was actually a mud pack. And um, it was just funny to see that, you know. But we did we did the work though. Everybody we planted, you know, everybody came out of there a little muddy, but uh, we did what we went in there to do. Uh, I, I hope this project is, is, is um, expanded. Uh, they said something about maybe taking it to maybe five of the schools. And it would be nice to even bring in some high school girls, you know, to get involved in the project. and to allow them to work uh, with the girls and the mothers. So uh, I'd like to thank Winston-Salem State for their support. I'd like to thank uh, Kimberly Park Elementary School. And I also want to give some big ups to Maya Angelou for having the foresight to be involved in so many things that have immediate impact on, on our, 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 our community and the rest of the world. Thank you. We're very excited about this particular project and we are deeply saddened that the project has come to an end. But I must tell you that on every Thursday we really looked forward to coming. Nothing else was more important than coming to Kimberly Park to work with the mothers and daughters. And I think the most exciting thing about walking in the door would be the hugs and the kisses that we received. I don't have a daughter. Ms. Shepherdson has a daughter. And so it's nice just to be loved for that one hour by a little girl. And moms were very excited and made us feel uh, welcome. We hope we made them feel welcome, but they don't realize how their enthusiasm for the project um, was infectious. It, it just made us happy and all the people around us 
I think for our social worker, Mrs. Godet, uh, Mr. Kennedy, the gardener, and Coach Braswell. Um, I think they came alive um, as a result of working with these um, young ladies and their mothers. We appreciate um, one of, you know, our mission is to educate children and families. And so this project actually just really spoke to our mission and our goals. So we really appreciate, um, or I appreciate the time that I spent with the mothers and daughters. And I did look forward to, I mean, I was here every Thursday, didn't miss a beat. And um, I'm sad to see it go. And we really will miss Ms. Shepherdson's uh, special attention to the young ladies and the moms. The project could not have been uh, successful without the, her penchant for detail and, and making sure that we were uh, fed well, loved well, and that the uh, project turned out the way it did. So we couldn't have made it without her.